Hi, my name is David and if your white toner transfer printer does print in grey, today's video is going to be the solution for you. Many of our customers might have already ran into this problem or maybe you're afraid of running into it once time. You have your design prepared just like this one using colors and blacks to be printed in one pass with the white toner and you expect the black areas to print in crisp and nice white and the colors to come out regularly. But all you get is this. An ugly gray print and you're down with frustration. In today's video we're going to set you up to avoid this problem or what you can do to solve this problem in your printer driver but first of all I want to take you into a little explanation why this problem occurs. So when you print with ghost white toner you will have the white toner cartridge inside the black spot of your printer so everything that you have in black on the screen should print in white. But therefore it is important to know that the black, and this is more or less an expert tip, needs to be a pure black. So if you're making your designs in a graphic software like Photoshop or InDesign or whatever, you make sure that your black is made of 100% K, 0% cyan, 0% magenta and 0% yellow, so that you get a really pure black. The reason for this problem, the gray print, is that sometimes the origin of your file is different and depending on what file format you send to the printer, the printer does handle the color channels differently. For example, if you send it from your graphic software, from a PDF or from a picture like a PNG or a JPEG, the printer might do different things in managing the colors. I will take you to the screen now to show you my design, um, to give you a little explanation and then to show you how to avoid the problem when printing from a PDF file. Big recommendation, if you download your designs online or if you make your designs yourself in graphic software, please convert everything into a PDF, export everything into PDF before printing with Ghost White Toner. You can see my design here on the screen and you can see that we've got all the colors here and of course we've got some blacks and I would expect my blacks to print in crisp and nice white and the colors to come out accordingly when the white toner is installed. But as you can see here in my um, design, it does not happen. We have an ugly gray print in the picture file of my fish art design, but we get correct white printing in our ghost logo and the ghost website. So I'd like to explain you why this is. We downloaded that design, that fish art, that artwork here above the logo um, from an online vector pack, which we purchased online and just imported it. And then we did set um, our logo and the website in InDesign ourselves, of course. And somehow the origins of these files mess up the printer to handle these two areas differently, to have correct white print here in the PDF and to have some ugly mixture of the white toner and some of the color toners, which gives us this crazy gray tone. So to avoid this, open the print dialog. You will not think change much to the settings, expect you will go to the um, Avita uh, tab here in Germany that's like more preferences and it will give you the opportunity to select print as an image. In this case the color management of the printer will process all the colors as one image and this will solve for the color management of the black to be treated as pure black. So this is um, the important, you can also, if you deselect that, um, you can also dig into the color management here and play around with these settings, for example, for half tones or for black registration. But for the problem that we have here, it will be sufficient to just hit print as an image. Then you save that and then you're going to send your design to the printer. Another solution would be to print in grayscale. 
If I would do this, I will get a complete white print, which looks brilliant, but it's certainly not the effect that I want it to have because I'm not getting the nice colors here in my design. I'm just getting um, a pure white design. It's not what I wanted to have. So let's see how it looks if we select print as an image and send the file to the printer. Now you can see that the design comes out the printer correctly. So we really get what we want here. Instead of that ugly gray print, we're getting um, the white where it should be in the black areas all the way consistent over the print. And this of course works the same way if you are printing on a transfer media. Like you can see here, I've got um, a bag prepared with that design using the laser dark A foil and B paper. And if I would have been using one of my gray designs here, this would be looking really ugly compared to having a pure white. So if you ever ran into that problem of having ugly gray prints where it should be white, and this video is the solution. Just hit print as an image in your settings tab of your printer driver. This will work with all of our printers, whether you've got the mini, little ghost, big ghost, or one of the previous versions of our ghost white toner bundles. And even if you just purchase a white toner cartridge from our online store for your printer, you will find the same settings in your PDF application. If you like this video, please leave us a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you will get notified when we put out new tips and tricks videos. For today I say thanks for watching and see you next time.